I've well, very kindly been joined by uh, Jake Gallagher who has uh, clearly put a shift in. He's walking like I do when I get up first thing in the morning at the moment. But uh, are you alright Jake? Just stiff and sore from 90 minutes? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I haven't played for a while obviously because of my uh, suspensions. But um, yeah, playing on the weekend against guys who come in on and playing 65 and um, training four times a week on Christmas Day is obviously it's quite tough. Um, but no, I enjoyed it today, it was a good occasion, but mm. just disappointed we didn't get anything out of it, which I thought we did deserve to. Mm. We huffed and puffed a little bit, we never really got a full head of steam up, it just didn't seem to quite go for us today, did it? Let's take it back to the start, um, we've had the week to prepare for it, everybody knows it's, uh, you know, it's, a, it's a derby game, obviously your first one. Um, in an order shot shirt, is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is, isn't it? Yeah, I was just doubting that for a minute. Um, and, uh, you know, everybody wants it. You know it's going to be a big crowd in. You want the local bragging rights. And most importantly, of course, you just want three points to add to the three against Guiseley. Yeah, yeah, it was, um, we, we prepared well. I mean, the gaffer sorted us out, barks, yeah, training's been good. And we had, we were obviously enthusiastic and confident coming in from a three points against Guiseley. Mm. So it couldn't have really set up any better and like you said it was tough to get going. We showed glimpses of chances, half chances, um, but we couldn't really get that run going where we had a full 20 minutes of just pounding them and trying to get that goal. Um, but I think we did create enough to at least draw the game, if not win the game, and we just couldn't take our chances. Yeah, I mean I thought if anything typified the first half, it, w it was a bit of a dour game, it wasn't a great spectacle. Yeah. Um, you know, we had to be organised and strong at times to, to, to counter Woking's threat. And we didn't create too many uh, chances, but when we did, the attacks we did have, three or four of them, had a little bit of quality and, and, and as ever just let that final yeah. finish, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, we do. We, we tend to be, in, we've said that quite a lot after games, yeah. <laughs> but we haven't been scoring goals. Um, yeah. But we played quite well, we're organised, like you said, and we, get, we got the ball wide quite well. I think Tom had a good game, whipped, whipped in some great balls, Hats whipped in some great balls. And we got on the end of a couple, just couldn't get enough behind the ball because mm. the, the two or three of them went straight to the keeper's hands. Yeah. Or over the bar. And it was just, it was really frustrating because we did, like I said before, we did create enough and we did play well enough to win the game. And uh, we, we just didn't come away with anything. It's often the case when you talk to footballers after the game, they feel good coming into the game. It's all gone right in training and mm. the confidence there and the ball's mm. hitting the net in training. Mm. Taking it into the game is just, mm. it's just, what it's all about it's yeah, what you get paid for isn't it really yeah that's yeah. it yeah that's what we need to start doing otherwise it's going to like one one win in nine games isn't good enough and we need to change that round all right so we'll, we'll move on a little bit from the details of the defeat one or two things that are you know reason to, to pull yourself out for a word today um once because it's nice to see you around at the end of a game <laughs> jake but no all joking apart so you've got the nod for today you see the team sheet at some point your your eyes will have fallen on the program and seen who the referee was yeah. incredibly the referee who sent you off twice already yeah, this season right. what was your thoughts jake share them um, with us well i actually got told thursday yeah um the gaffer pulled me in and said that it's the referee that sent you off twice and he pulled me in to say that I'd done well on the weekend and that if I was you know, up for playing, just in case it was on my mm. mind, um, which I thought was nice of him and fair. So mm. I, took, I went away, spoke to my parents and thought about it and I come in and said it was really a no-brainer, I was fine to play, I wanted to. Um, I just had to deal with it while I was out there. It was difficult, I'm not going to lie. Um, had to hold back a few times, which I don't like doing, but mm. it has to be done in my, in my shoes, what, what I've done. Um, but no, I tried hard, I worked hard, I've done as much as I could for the team to get a win and it was just disappointing we didn't, but like, yeah, it was difficult, but I thought I dealt with it quite well. I think you did and uh, if, 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 from my recollection, perhaps the, the only questionable tackle was the very first one you did actually in the game, yeah. um, but he just caught air I think anyway, but um, it must be difficult for, the, for the, you know, to play in those circumstances. It's easy for fans to have an opinion, isn't it, and in the moment and jump on the bandwagon to to kind of make someone a scapegoat when things happen. But it, it, it's also, you know, sometimes you have to call it as, as it is when you're talking on the radio. I'll, I'll stand up and be counted, you know, in the last game, I think you got away with one tackle. But after yeah. that, yeah. you had such a great game, a really, yeah. really good game. And that's what us, the Aldershot Town fans want. They want to see the best of Jay Gallagher on yeah. the pitch, you know, because you make a difference. You give us strength and running. Uh, you know, in the, in the middle of the park there today. Unfortunately, look, bottom line, not enough of your teammates were really, really on their game today. Do you think that's what it comes down to or is it just 
really them taking one chance and, um, and that's not. Yeah, we, we made one mistake with them when they took their goal and we know that, we've spoken about it in the, in the changing room. Um, but yeah, we, we didn't take our chances and when, to win a game you need, I'm not saying anyone lost their personal battles, I mm. thought we all played quite well but um, you know, nine, eight or nine of us need to be on top of the opposing yeah. player and win, winning our personal battles. If you only got three or four, and they're kind of mixing you in between half and half, then you know it's going to be anybody's game, or we're going to end up losing the game. And I think the boys done well today. I think they just took their one chance, and we didn't take ours. Ultimately, that's what people remember, isn't it? Last week we won one nil. <laughs> was a pretty, uh, unfor a pretty forgettable game, exactly. but we got the three points. Yeah. Let's move on then to Eastleigh, and we need to quickly because it's only in two days' time. Yeah. Um, they're always a really, really tough side to play, and I think they'll be a wounded side on two days' time because unless they made a dramatic late comeback, I see they were two 0 down to Bromley. Right. Uh, forgive me, I don't know the final score, but regardless, it's always a tough game. They've got a lot of nous, a lot of strength, a lot of physicality. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they're an experienced side. Um, but we were, uh, they come here, and I thought we were the better team. Again, we come, we're not quite losing the game. Yeah. Don't like saying it, and yeah. you know we keep saying we're playing well, but losing. Um, we do need to turn results around, and I think. I have a good feeling going into Monday, I think we'll be alright bouncing back from this, playing against EC, knowing what they were like playing a couple of weeks ago, we'll be flying into that one. Aldershot Town have yet to beat Eastleigh uh, since they've been back in the National League. Uh, did you get a result against them while you were at Welling? Um, Do you remember? And what your memory's yeah, like? I think we might have got a couple of draws, I don't think yeah. we won. We definitely yeah. lost a couple and drew a couple. But hopefully we had to get a win, we can turn that, yeah. turn that stat round. Well look, on behalf of all the Shot Town fans, thanks for yours and all the lads' efforts this year. Let's finish it on a high at Eastleigh. Thanks for joining yeah, us. Lovely, thank you very much. Cheers, Jake.